Today we're going to be doing a really cool project that you can follow along with at home. Today we're going to be creating a screen flow that can freeze users. But if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. I'm putting out new Salesforce content each week and let's jump into this project. All right, so if you're not already in setup, you're going to want to make sure you're in setup and then you can search flow over in the quick find and we'll go ahead and hit new flow and we will get started on this project. So this is a really cool project if you're an admin and you're needing the freeze uh, specific users. Um, most of the time, if you're gonna be bolt freezing users, you can just use data loader and it's really easy to use. But sometimes maybe you just need to freeze one or two people or unfreeze somebody, then this flow is a great solution for that. So we're gonna go ahead and select screen flow and hit create. And the first thing we actually wanna do is we wanna go ahead and use a get record element and we're gonna go ahead and get all active users. We'll just call this get users. And we're gonna use the user object. And then right here we have the condition. So we're just gonna say is active equals true. And I'm gonna go ahead and store all records and store all the fields just in case I wanna use them. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and name my flows. I'm gonna call this um, freeze user flow. All right, perfect. So we don't wanna lose any of our work here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add a screen in. And this is kind of where we get started. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here and I'm gonna hide the header. I'm gonna configure the footer as well. So I don't really want to have a previous button and I want to, I wanna hide the pause button as well. And we'll just have the finish button here and we'll call this screen one. First thing I'm gonna do is add in a checkbox group here and we'll call this freeze or unfreeze users. And then right here, and we'll have to require it. And it says let users select for multiple options. So first option is gonna be, uh, first option is gonna be freeze. I wanna create that choice. Second option is going to be unfreeze and we'll create that option here. And we want us admins to have to select something here and you'll see why in a minute. And the default value is I'm just gonna leave it blank. Now the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and add a data table in. Now for this data table, we'll call this data table for the API. And you're gonna need to configure a source collection. And this source collection is gonna be users from get users. And then the next thing you have to do is you don't have to, you can change the rows. We want them to be able to select multiple rows. Um, you can do a minimum or maximum selection and then select a default sele selection if you want, but I'm not doing that today. We're gonna to configure the columns and I want it to display full name. And you just gotta make sure you hit done. If you don't hit done, it actually doesn't add it in. It's kind of aggravating. I wish they would, wouldn't do that, but anyway. I'm gonna add in the user ID too, just in case you want that. So that's gonna add your columns in here. All right, so that is all we need to do for the data table. So what we have here is the user will come in and select either freeze or unfreeze. And then this list is gonna be a list of all active users in the database. So what we're gonna do is hit done and we're gonna hit save. Now, what we need to do is set up a decision element. And we'll call this freeze users. And the label here, I'm gonna put yes. And the condition is from the resource, so this is gonna be from the freeze or unfreeze users checkbox groups, and you're gonna say equals, and it says freeze that will go down the yes path and the default outcome will just be no and then hit done now we have two different paths we can follow now let's go ahead and do the freeze users option we'll hit the plus sign here and we're actually going to put a loop in and we'll call this freeze loop 
and the collection is going to be from the data table and the selected roads. Hit done. And you're going to go ahead and add in an update element in here. So we're going to have update records, and we'll call this update users, or maybe we'll call this freeze users. Oh, I've used that before. We'll put a two in for the API to make it unique. And we're going to need to specify the conditions. So to freeze users, it's actually under a different object, not the user object. It's under the user login object. And the filter criteria for the user login is actually going to be the user ID has to equal the current item in the loop. And make sure here you come down and you select the user ID so it matches up. Now you're going to set your field value. So is it frozen? In this case, it will be true. It will be frozen, which is perfect. And we'll hit save so we don't lose any of our work. All right, so now we just need to complete the other path here. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create another loop for us. And we're going to call this unfreeze loop. And the collection variable we're going to use is data table selected rows. Hit done. Now we're going to have another update record element here. And we're going to call this unfreeze users and then here we're going to specify the conditions under the user login object and we're going to match up the user id with the current item from the unfreeze loop and if you select the freeze loop you will get uh, have issues unfreezing users so just be aware of that we'll hit user id and then we're going to set the field value to is frozen. And in this case, it's going to be false. Hit that. And let's just go ahead and hit save. And the flow is actually complete. So we're going to go ahead and debug it. All right, we're going to hit run. And we can actually see the fruits of our labor here because we're not running in a rollback mode. So we'll be able to freeze an unfree user straight from the debug. So let's freeze a user. Let's do Jimmy and Tina here. And we're going to hit next. Looks like the flow, yep, it ran successfully. And I actually have, uh, I believe I have Jimmy pulled up here. As you can see, he is not frozen right now. Let's refresh the browser. And as you can see, he is frozen now. And we can actually go look at Tina as well, Tina Woods. And her account should be frozen too. Yep, frozen, perfect. So let's go back and run this flow again in debug. We're gonna select unfreeze this time and select the same two users, Jimmy and Tina, and hit next. All right, flow executed, no errors. This time we're gonna refresh and let's see if our user is unfrozen. And as you can see, Tina is unfrozen. Let's go look at Jimmy. And Jimmy is unfrozen too. This is a really great flow that you can build um, as an admin to make it really easy to freeze and unfreeze users, especially if it's under like 50 users. Um, if you're doing five, 10, maybe a small group, this is a great solution. Um, if it's more than that, you could run into issues with the loop. If it's in the hundreds, you're trying to loop through individual records, there would have to be another kind of bulk update you could do to them. But honestly, it's just easier as an admin to use data loader to update these if that's the case. But this is a really cool interface with a screen flow that you could build uh, to make your life a little easier. If you enjoyed this project, make sure to leave it a like. This came from a real world scenario and I thought it'd be really cool to kind of show you how to build one out. I didn't find a ton of um, things like this on YouTube already on how to build a screen flow out, especially being able to freeze or unfreeze a user from a screen flow. You could do a lot of things with this. You could actually deactivate users um, using this flow too. You could have maybe two screens and based on the user selection on the first screen, the next screen displays and uh, you know have a decision element and branch out like, do you want to freeze or um, fr uh, freeze or unfreeze a user or do you want to deactivate a user? And you could actually use that screen flow to do both of those things, you know, build out more of a complex scenario, right? 
Uh, so this screen flow is, is really powerful. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.